What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Forge. I'm Vulcan and today we are taking a look at Hellgate. Now, for those of you that have been following along, Hellgate was a game released back in the day and Hanabitsoft, as you can see down here, picked it up after the sad, sad demise of its original release. Tried to relaunch it back in 2010-ish. It did not do so hot, so they went ahead and they shut it down. But we got news about a month ago that they're bringing it back and it's coming back as a single player game so the multiplayer aspect is gone but holy hell we are excited for it to be back all right without further ado let's hop in all right guys so <clears throat> this game looks like uh not a ton of graphical updates but this is the game running on its highest possible settings Let's go through and let's give ourselves a character. Alright, so we got the typical male and female sex. Right now we are on the summoner, but let's go ahead and let's flip to the classes. So you got your guardian. Guardians are your typical tank looking guys. You got shields, swords, things like that. Um, now each one of these will be able to specialize into something else once we get to a certain point. So you do have subclasses that are available. Blade Master. This one was extremely popular because it was the first sort of ninja class that was in a MMO, exciting times. You have the summoner, you have the evoker, we got the engineer, and we have the marksman. So what do we want to play? What do we want to play? So the last few times I played, I always played as a guardian, I played as a blade master, I played as a marksman, uh, just because the sniper aspect was pretty cool. But what do we got for Evoker? Storms of Supernatural Fury, that's cool, okay, okay. And then Summoners, that's kinda cool as well. What do we wanna go with? You know what guys, I think, I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with a Summoner. I typically don't play too many summoning style classes, but this one looks pretty great. And honestly, my character looks like a Summoner right now, so I'll flip through some of these options here and see if there's anything else that comes across we really like. But for the most part, oh there you go, okay. And the hairstyle. I mean, you can't beat the dreads, guys. I mean, you can't beat the dreads when you're a summoner. It just it just goes with it. Alright, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Got a little like squid action, little little squid squatting on the brain. Okay, that one's actually pretty good. A little man bun, like monk style thing going on. It's it's hot as hell right now in 2018. So, let's see. Dreads or that? What do you guys think? Dreads or that? I think I'm going to go with the dreads. The dreads make more sense. Accessories. What do we got for accessories? Okay, so we got some we got some head pieces, some earring pieces here. Uh, a headband. That's pretty dope. Uh, an eye patch. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Oh, that's kind of cool. A little forehead thing. That seems more like an elf type of unit rather than a summoner. I don't know. I think the summoner needs like the shit ton of like earrings like that, but I'm not too into that. So we'll uh, we'll do something a little different. We'll do something a little different. We'll go for we'll go for just a pair of earrings. How about that? Skin color. Um, let's see. Let's flip through some of these and see what we're working with here. Uh, purple. That's cool. <laughs> I forgot about that. There's like random like screams and shit in the background. It's super good. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna make her like kind of pale. Summoners usually like kind of pale. I guess that's as pale as it goes. Pale it is. Hair color, black, obviously. Height, do that. Bulk, I like her body size where it is. Skip tutorial. Hell nah. We're going. This is the full gambit, baby. We're doing. The, we're doing it all. All right, guys. Welcome. Back to Hellgate London. Mouse cursor is activated. When the alt key is pressed, you can press any buttons. We'll test there. Okay, so here's something that's kind of interesting. So they went through and they made some adjustments. And those adjustments are, uh, for instance, it's going to be much quicker uh, leveling from levels 20 to 30, or 20 to 50. Um, it used to be a slow, slow, slow drag, um, which sucked, but it's okay. What are we doing? Oh yeah. Alright. Um, they did that. They added more champion bosses in. 
um, which is fantastic. And then they also added um, a couple other gameplay enhancing things. But honestly, for the most part, the game is still kept where it needs to uh, where it needs to be, and still kind of has that original feel to it. Okay. All right, so, yep, move, jump, zoom in, zoom out. Look at this. Things are happening. It's like, <laughs> where's my, where's my arm? I want my arm kit. All right, a couple pre-location device. Hello, Vulcan, did you learn to use the quest list and mini-map on their way? You must also know how to attack using the mouse, whole map using M. I uh, look for James. He's giving us a, some just basic shit. Samail, thanks, man. Okay. Uh, you can use weapons on both hands by equipping both weapons with the left click. Okay. We got sprint here. That's nice. Welcome back. So I'm like shooting like harpoons. That's kind of cool. I don't remember that from the first one. Or from the original release. All right, let's see. Wow, your skills are excellent for a novice. You tried skill points within the skill window, right? Yeah, I didn't do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and do it. Oops. Okay, so Hellgate, um, it, it's pretty awesome. They have the standard uh, three talent trees, which is fantastic. Blizzard, take notes. This is what people want. <sighs> Back in the mix. Okay. So you got some stats, defense, faction stats, um, some options for people. This is the online options. Um, as you can see, they didn't really change much of this. They just basically, basically they just shut off the multiplayer portion. I'm assuming it's gonna come back at some point in time. I mean, you already have all of the groundwork in here. Um, honestly, but either way, I've I'm hit or miss on the online portion. I don't really care uh, if they bring it back or not. I just want a good well-rounded single-player experience that slowly gets updated that's really it all right guys so oh let's see okay so we have necromancy um during the draining the remnants of life energy from nearby corpses reinvigorates the catalyst each drained corpse heals 17 health demons uh conjures a fierce carnivore binding it to the summoner a carnivore must be resummoned uh for higher ranks of this skill to take effect okay and we have elementalists, so we already have this. That's kind of cool. Look at some L over here. Like, what are you doing, bro? Looks like another player. Uh, Someone a fire elemental or a beacon. Um, I think you know what? Uh, let's just. I mean, let's just go all in on the demons, man. I think that's just gonna be a plus for us. So I'm gonna put that down there. That'll go over there. And we're summoning a demon from the pits of hell right now. Welcome, Bragash. Start just straight up just murdering people. At a baby. Come on. Come on, Carnivore. Come on, Sam Ale. Oh, shit, James. James is your name. Try to keep up. As you can see, like shit like blowing up all over the place. I have received a reward. I'm burning, so that's cool. Uh, how to complete mini games? Mini games actually be shown upon the mouse over on the three mini game icons in lower right. Mm, lower, okay. I don't see that, but that's oh, I see it now. I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. They'll be dropped when the icons are filled. Neato. So what are my three mini? Okay. Yep. 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 So what are my three mini games? Eliminate a beast monster, acquire armor, and fire attack. Okay. Equipment cost. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's fair. All right. Oops. That's one thing that's kind of weird. This, uh, you have to like click and hold. So you have to click and like, you're like holding the right click button and you're dragging around to, to do some stuff. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and this is the bad one, yeah. Let's go ahead and break it down. We're gonna break this down. Uh yep, yep, already did. Thanks for coming. Let's go ahead. Disassemble. Yep, we're a little ahead of the game here. Alright, disassemble. Mm-hmm. 
disassemble. Mm -hmm. So that gave us some scrap material and some other stuff. Uh, move to the Seraphim Knight till moon. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, dude, she's like me. Pretty much exactly the same. That's cool. What up, twin? You have wonderfully completed the first mini game. Taking on the challenge since different items were dropped, mini games completed. Also remember that you can receive pretty good passive skills upon completing challenge assignments. With this, you have completed the first challenge assignment. Now check the rewards received. Equip the passive skill by opening challenge assignment window by pressing J. Equip the title and character by pressing I. J. So, okay. Complete minigame. So we gained a luck plus 25. Oh, no, not yet. Turning into a nerd. Damage uh, plus 2. Yeah, that's cool. And then we need to complete 20 minigames because I need that luck. And then... Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and let's get our... Let's get our title thrown on. Nerd. There we go. Move to Greenwich HQ to... To the dispatch soldier. What up? Have you equipped the two percent increase? Up. Oh, have I ever, brother? Look at you. Look at you. Looking stern. Uh, let's see. Talk to the commander. Okay. Help window by pressing H. So yeah, you basically use like this teleport system to move around Hellgate. It's pretty slick. So so far, so far, guys, it's uh, it's a lot of the same experience I had back, um, you know, a few years ago when they uh, tried to bring it back to a kind of a online aspect and um it's the same and i really liked it i mean i spent a ton of time in this game so i'm super pumped to go through and do all of the uh all the different you know builds and things like that and uh, try to get to the higher levels and uh, see what we can do for like world bosses and all sorts of other interesting things uh speak with texas number 15 okay but yeah, um, you know, deal with the champion mobs. Get up there and just like start farming, finding the, find everything we need, uh, and start just really specializing. Uh, increasing time, okay. Uh, increasing options, like different attributes, the parts, the upgrade materials. You can also increase attacks and add options by using a device inside. If you don't like these, you can also use the item disassemblers. But success is not guaranteed. All right. So as you can see, we're living in a uh, hutch or what looks to be a greenhouse, um, probably from the just hellacious demons outside. Ha! Now at last, finally, it's my turn. I almost died waiting for you. Ho 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 ho! All right, Doherty. Uh, function rules in the side of the shop. You can purchase weapons, armors, and other items in the shop. In fact, it is better to gain weapons and armors through the spoils of war. But sometimes you're, there are unique items here. If you had a good dream, try to visit. <laughs> They also have like guild creator and stuff. It's still in here. Didn't chase any of the quest text. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I got some, you know, some skill focused. It looks like there's a equipment cost of five will. Um, it looks like 636 but palladium is required. I have 35. So as you can see, not quite there yet. Um, speak with Gavin. All right, old Gavin, who's being quite mysterious in the corner. You've been for a long This is the last. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Ch Gavin needs to chill the hell out. The terminal you see on the side is the one used for the trade center. This is where the people working all over London place are spoils of war. It's good to drop by this place time to time. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming that's the uh, old auction house is what he's talking about. Uh, you'll only encounter good events at the Greenwich headquarters since you come all the way here I'll give you the first very special items item will arrive around four in the morning tomorrow. You'll come pick it up, right? I mean, I guess Daily event quest. Yeah, sure. I'm in that's cool supply soldier Theo I'm assuming this guy got something for me I guess Dr. Fox the hunters top researcher has gone missing from Holborn station it's time to give him some aid. All right, guys. So this is, we are out of the tutorial zone. This is the first real life zone. We got Braggish with me, my trusty hell hound of, of death. And we're going to, we're going to go see what, uh, we're going to make a mess. Let's go make a mess, Braggish. Come on, buddy. Talk to TechSmith number 13 first. 
Yep, shit's wicked. I get it. All right. Welcome back. Sorry about that. My video recording software was not working out. Um, but <clears throat> we have just went through, uh, we defeated our first boss and I do have the gameplay. I just don't have my voice over it. So honestly, for some, that's probably an improvement, but that's okay. So I'll still show you guys the video. Um, I'll just attach it to the end of this video. So enjoy. All right. We are back in Holborn station. We have Stark here. We got murmur over to the right murmur <laughs> that that guy, man, I tell you, look, I mean, look, look at him. He's just a mysterious figure. Stark's a, he's got like a cage for a face. That's cool. Uh, Stark industry. <laughs> oh man. Tony, Tony. Uh, although the redeemers really reward now. Okay, cool. All right. Well, we're back. Uh, apparently we're going somewhere. Open the inventory, equip the newly provided equipment and use the skills by opening the skill window. Oh, cool. We get all this awesome stuff and then we have new skills what new skills uh this one this one and nothing on that side of the fence okay guys so that's pretty cool so uh let's see i do not remember this being in the original game um Let's view this transmission. To drive safely, first open the bag, use the analyzer to know the characteristics of the equipment's and equipped. They'll be of great use since there are special skills on the equipment. I don't know the place, but somewhere there'll be a terminal which Cynthia made look for. It may have a ring inside the terminal. Is this stuff unidentified? No, it looks identified. Yeah, yeah, it's identified. Oh yeah, that's good. Why can't I use this? Why can't I use number three? Oh well. Oh, so we get three of these little guys? Hell yeah, look at my little army. Look at my little army. We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. That's my that's my bad. I feel like we're about to run into some serious shit here. Level 10 demons. Oh yeah. Braggish is about to just get worked. That's that's a guarantee. I'm doing like zero damage to these guys. There we go. Had to pop their shields, but we're we're back in it now. So these little guys are just getting a, just obliterated, but I'll tell you what, they do some damage, that's for sure. I wonder so I wonder if I can't have I bet so, because I have Braggish out, uh I probably can't have the warper out to do some damage. So I need to get rid of get rid of braggish sorry buddy it's just temporary it's not your fault there we go yeah that's exactly what it was all right so i'll keep the little uh, little june bug little lightning bugs out here let's see we got eight more seconds so we can get another guy yeah, remember these imp troopers man these guys are next level Hell yeah, look at this warper. Shit's about to just blow up now. Come on, warper. Come on, uh, Venevro. Do something. Okay. So guys, apparently we're in a little instance type deal uh, looking for Cynthia from her fourth fourth future city and we're trying to do some shit there from these tony stark corporation <laughs> just kidding it's stark only all right just one of my little fellows out here kind of lost track of them all right so my warper is pretty much going to be toast here in a second these imp soldiers man or imp troopers they are no joke i wonder if that what's that modifier they have on them i'm not sure And it's constant with these things. I feel like this new gear they gave me isn't doing exactly a ton of, of, of good. Like, I feel like I'm not doing enough damage, but that's all right. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be difficult. Let's get it. All 
Okay, here we go. These things are falling over. That's good. All right, I need to get rid of this thing. There we go. All my, all my beasts got that completed, guys. You can see my mini game down at the bottom. Now we got three new ones. We got three new ones. Cycling through, cycling through. Now, guys, say the graphics on this game have—it's—they've never been impressive. I mean, even when the game launched, they weren't exactly impressive. Um, but it really just goes to show if you have a game that has just such good gameplay. I mean, anything can happen. Like this game's getting pulled back from the dead and so many people are stoked about it because of the gameplay. And I think that really says a lot about our industry, right? We, for a long time, were so worried about graphics. Like it needs to look good. I want it to look good and I want it to play good. I want both. And you have to think, I mean, these AAA developers are going through a bunch of stuff and they don't necessarily have the money to make it both look good and play good, right? You have to pay these people per hour. And um, I think it's important that we place our priorities correctly, right? I mean, you have a game, let's take Bless, for instance. I know I haven't talked much about Bless, if at all, but look at Bless. That game looked phenomenal, amazing graphics. I mean, it just looked gorgeous, but here's the problem. Here is the problem. It didn't have any gameplay elements, none. Oh, look at this guy. It didn't have any gameplay elements to it, and it was awful. And um, that's why it had such a low rating on everything. And that's why it just didn't, I mean, it wasn't good. And a lot of people just shut it down, rightfully so. I mean, you gotta think about it, right? There's, why would, why would we wanna play something that uh, isn't looking that great, or not looking that great, isn't playing that great? You don't really have any sort of, any, nothing to do, and it's pay to win, and it just, it goes to show when you have priorities that are jacked up, you're not really gonna enjoy the game. And we need to start focusing on gameplay more than we do graphics. That's hands down. This guy, man, this dude's got some some units on him. Look at this, he's like sending stuff out, doing all sorts of other nonsense. My little lightning guys are getting jacked up. Little f frost things, stunning me. Oh God, he's wiping, he's wiping, he's wiping out my people. Come on, little guy, come on, little guys. You can do it. You can do it. I need my warper back out here. There we go. Get those guys back out. This clone TH 724. This guy is the real deal, man. Oh, I'm stunned. It's not good. There we go. I mean, he's not putting out a ton of damage, that's for sure, but he has a lot of uh, crowd control and AOE effects, so. Nice little fun boss battle. I mean, naturally, you're kinda, you kinda are uh, biased to win, especially this early in the game, but still. This is, this is things to come, guys. Things to come. Things to come. Higher levels, going in here and doing this type of stuff. Yeah, gear up. I remember doing some of these demon lords and it is pretty crazy. There we go. We did it. I need claps all around from everybody. I need claps all around. Very good, very good. We beat a boss that we were supposed to beat. I am so proud of us. We did it, we did it. All right, let's take this lion's ring. And let's return to Holborn Station. Let's equip this lion's ring. All right. Do not need that. Go ahead and disassemble. Do not need that. Disassemble. Do not need this. You guessed it. Disassemble. I need an analyzer. Some sacred fragments. Very nice. Okay. Dang it. Apprentice strappings. I'll go ahead and take that. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's better. A rare blessed shod. Yeah, I need some, need some analyzers. Murmur, what do you got for me, bud? 
comm link is encoded. You say the Seraph asked you to deliver this to Brandon Land? Land commands co Covent Garden Station. Okay, that's fair. I'm already anticipating on next chat. That's very nice. The end of April, my dad and I were scavenging the Tottenham Court Road. My dad told me to run. He's. I felt something grab my prosthetic and saw my dad, but he was my dad anymore. Dude, his dad got roasted. Little Joey. Little peg leg Joey. Look at little peg leg Joey. Man. Sorry, Joey. I'll get your prosthetic back, bud. Uh, let's see. Nano Forge. Orf. Something I can do for you? Or if, let me tell you, man, I need some analyzers, brother. So let me get some of those. Uh, I need one. Uno analyzer, please. Just one. I thank you. Farewell until we meet again. That guy cracks me up, man. His voice always, just every single time. See, this one's okay. Fingerless gloves, right? I mean, if you're gonna be a summoner, you want to look like a hard ass, and there's no more hard ass way to look than fingerless gloves. I mean, that's just that's just the way it is. George, I'm praying for an evacuation to Covent Garden Station, but something's wrong with the hatch. Uh, all right. Well, pff, shit. What we're gonna do, kids, is we're gonna go do some hatch work. We've hit a snag. We we're able to repair all the George machinery, but the capacitors that power the door are shot to hell. There are spares in the Hellborn access shafts, but those tunnels have long since been overrun with demons. You don't have the firepower to clean them out? Did I just hear firepower? Sign me up. Don't go home breaking my heart. All right, let's get these out of here. I mean, I can't use them, yeah? Do I have any, do I have any points I do not have points to investigate or invest so that's okay oh man a limb nord a limb nord come here you little shits whoa hey what hey 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 I'm getting a little too it's getting a little too uh not too heavy in here. Uh, equipped. Nope. Obviously, we have the fingerless gloves. Why would we ever equip that? Let's do some housekeeping really quick. As you can see, your inventory fills up pretty fast in this game. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that done. We got an analyzer. We got an analyzer. Come on, access shafts. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Me and a limb nord, man. We're just rolling through stuff. Never let your fingers off the trigger. That's tip number one. I love how the summoner has like, like the, like, ex like everything's explosive, like the pistols and stuff. That to me is so cool. Like I don't know. It's just I love like the explosive darts. I'm always I'm always a big fan of explosions. So I mean, <laughs> sign me up. You know what I'm saying? All right, there's got to be a boss creature down here somewhere. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, do bear shit in the woods. You know, it's one of those things. I'm gonna do a little exploring, guys, before we get out of here completely. Come on, Elimnord. Elimnord. Let's see what else we're working with down here. I feel like we got a bunch of good stuff. Oh. oh. Elimnord, are you serious? Is that little guy giving you trouble, man? Come on. I raised you better than that. I raised you much better than that. There he is. I knew it. I knew there was a some bitch in here. I killed enough of these bastards. Come on, Elm Nord. We gotta kill Zozo Zo, the Mangy Stalker. Mangy Stalker. He's a hardy some bitch, but I, th I think we can get him. <clears throat> That's
That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking. Ooh. Ooh. My Lanta. Legendary, guys. We got our first legendary drop so early on. I can't use it, but I'm going to put that thing in my stash for my next Guardian slash Marksman. So that's what, that's, see, that. this is why we explore, guys. This is why we explore. This exact reason. I'm so excited. Come again. See, Olaf, man. Olaf, he helped me out. He... He gave me the power of Olaf. And we ended up getting a badass thing from it. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's head back to the station. Let's head back to the station. That's awesome, though. I'm super amped. What a great drop. That's a good way to start the game, guys. That really is. Look at that. I'm going to identify it. What are we working with? 10% chance to, to cause a spectral nova when it hits an enemy. Adds 29 stun to... or Adds 29 to stun attack strength. And gives us a critical damage bonus against demons by 73%. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah, you you bet your ass that's going in the uh, going in the vault. Nope, stop it. Oh wait, what was that? What was I saying? Hand grapplers grasp demons and draw them in towards the wielder. Yes, it's like fishing for demons. Give them a little lead and then reel them in. Sergeant Brother Graham, two M's. That's cool. I like that. So let's go ahead and let's throw that in our stash here. It's going to really bother me if it's not flush. There we go. Thermal bolter. And then this nice little blade. I do want to hang on to those. I'm going to put this over here. I think we'll be ready to rock. So I guess I'll just equip this. Not like it matters. All right. Ah, finally. There we go. Something with a little, uh, something with a little oomph behind it. A little armor behind it. Break these basic things down. There we are. Let's go see our uh, TechSmith 101. Yes. Oh, can't believe I was brave enough. Dude, I am brave. Like, I, 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 that's me. I'm a summoner. Uh, yeah, Russell Square, man. What, you want to chat? Send an eye. See the Sid. Sid and I, Sid and I has taken, okay. So soon. Well, we need to go Tottenham Road. And guys, uh, gear up, um, because, I mean, once we get through this, we get a decent, you know, like, load of stuff. I will be doing things on higher difficulty than normal. Um, I'm just getting my wasp pod. I'm just getting my, uh, my bearings my bearings but I think uh, I think we're doing pretty good right now I want to get a little bit more of a build established and probably a couple more pieces of gear that aren't <laughs> grays and then I'll jump in and start doing a little harder stuff so definitely uh, keep your eyes open there so we do have a passageway I do remember these these passageways are passageways to hell so we'll go ahead and we'll do one of these that's uh, most likely down here Sure is. And it's not. I'm an idiot. It's up here probably. I hope at least. So zombies are yeah, it's right down here, most likely. Usually they're down here. Where is this damn place? It's upstairs? It's back here? No. Oh, it's a hatch on the ground? What? Okay. Oh, cool. Look at all this, look at all this palladium. So fun. I can't wait to see what I find down here. So as you can see, I am on a timer. So. No. There's 
probably like an achievement or something for getting all the palladium in a treasure room or something. It's all of it. Is that all of it? There, there's some. Oh, it's an energy bonus. Never mind, not a time limit. I mean, I'm like, what? So, okay, cool. I got a bunch. Look at that. Plus 3250. Dang. We are sitting high. Let's go. Limnord. Hell of a deal. Way to sniff that one out, pal. You did it. Looks like you get to eat tonight. All right, let's keep uh, let's keep on our crusade here. Deus Volt. Let's keep on it. Whoa, hey, hey. Alistor, the flesh golem, who is hyperfluxive, corroded, and fast. Drop a legendary for me, bud. I need it. I need it. Uh, I think I might have got a legendary from him. Well, shoot. If that is another legendary, I'm either lucky as hell or they completely... Yeah, it is legendary for me, which is badass. But I wonder if they changed. So 27, okay. Decreases the power of evocation skills. Yeah. Yeah. 10% straight shrapnel. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, pff, I'm in. I mean, that big of a deal. But still, though, that's very strange. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if that got changed up or what. Just because, I mean, that's two legendaries off of two hell occupations or champion enemies. I'm not entirely sold on that one. They either adjusted that major or I just got super lucky. And I don't think I got super lucky. You examine the corpse to find Joey's leg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, man. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and equip that. Break those down. Can I use this? No. Figure as much. Um, not gonna worry about that. Not gonna worry about that. Break this down. Break this down. All right, moving on. Okay, a leg up. We did it. We got little Joey's prosthetic leg. You've been playing for one hour. Excessive play may affect your lifestyle. Oh, believe me. Excessive play has indeed affected my lifestyle. All right, how are we looking on the map? Cool, literally nothing. Um, There we go. That's what I was looking for. Get off of me. Don't worry, Limnord. I got you, buddy. I know you're low on health and stuff, but I got you. I mean, you're probably going to die. It's not your fault. just the way it is. Let's get out of here, bud. Back to Holborn. All right. Let's put some new points in. We got some new points. Let's see. Necromancy. Um, I don't necessarily know if we need that yet. We could do a fire elemental, but I think this shares a cooldown. Reduce the summoner pool by 21. Uh, where's my summoner pool? I guess it's this. And beacon. The hunter paints the enemy with an infrared light, highlighting weaknesses in the target's defenses. Damage dealt to target increased by 17%. Definitely want that. Um, so I'll throw that down. I'm gonna throw that on number one. And then I'll keep you at number nine. This way, that, that way we keep things interesting, you know? Hey, Joe, your dad's dead as shit, bro, but uh, there's a prosthetic leg for you. I hope Merry Christmas. Here it comes. Here it comes. God, George, he sounds so depressed. All right, let's see. Wow, what a great upgrade. Has thorns, too. Sick. Equipped. Looks beautiful. Great, great deal. I'll go ahead and break this down because I don't need that. Thanks for Wart's peg leg, bro. That's real great. Thank you. Break you down. 
worthless. Um, oh, cool. Nano shard this, and it creates. Whoa. Damn, that's really cool. I didn't even notice I got that drop. So, how many do I need of this? One nano shard? And it creates a unique shit sword. Damn, okay, that's cool. Man. Yeah. Here. Let me move that stash. Stash two is like where all my good shit's going. Okay, maybe not. There we go. So weird. Uh, five beast essence are required to enter the maw. Okay. Message from Dr. Fox. Okay, probably need to hang on to that. Let me get rid of a bunch of these crafting materials. Don't mind me, pardon the dust, pardon the dust. Okay, cool, I think we're in a good spot now. Um, all right, where are we off to, guys? We need to go to Convent Station, okay, so here it is. Um, Guarding Templar. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, comrade. <clears throat> Covent Garden approach. Let's g -g 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 get it. Um, okay. First, I need to do some housekeeping. Elimnord, so sorry, so sorry. You need to be replaced. Uh, you're, you're having a bad day. Look at these fell bores. I'll take that power pack. Which, by the way, let me, let me look at that real quick. Power pack. That there. Thanks. Thanks. So it looks like legend. Looks like they changed some of the the naming. And and guys, feel free to correct me on this. I'm not sure. I I, I swear to remember that legendaries were the like the big thing, right? Like legendaries were like the big drops. But did that change? Are they uniques now? Are uniques really what we're looking for in this day and age? Or is it something different? I mean. I need to take a look and see, because I know, I think some things have changed. I think Cannabis may change some things. Dude, I did it. We completed something, folks. I don't know which one it was, but we did. Oh, we completed all of them. We got some new ones. Hell yeah. We were blowing through these mini games. Like I said, I want to I wanna get through that so I can get that luck plus 25. I think that's really going to uh, obviously come in handy. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, we got the Imp Troopers. Pindle the Imp Trooper has arrived. Well, guess what, buddy? You're getting painted with, with infrared lights. It's really going to hurt you. Pindle. He's dazzling. So, fun fact. Um, you do have to hold down both... Oh, shit. You do have to hold down both triggers. So if I just hold down like left, it shoots my left hand weapon. Right, it shoots my right hand weapon. Hold down both to shoot both. FYI, that's something that not a lot of people, uh, you know, immediately jump to. Right, when uh, when you get into the game, you're like, oh man, hey, let's just start doing this, and it just it doesn't work. So you have to kind of finagle it a little bit. All right, uh, there's that. Don't have anything to. Identify these. Axis. I'm going to go ahead and break that down. Don't need it. Break that down. I'm looking at the swarm rifle. I think that's going to be pretty dupe. I want to see kind of how that works. Unidentifiable relic. And Dude, I swear, man. Like, I need... I need some sort of... I need more inventory. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, we need to kill a few more Felbors. Uh, we got three blood zombies, thrice blood zombies, but that's in Holborn, so we don't need to worry about that in the access shafts, that is. Uh, so let's keep our Felbor dreams alive. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Don't mind me just making a mess. Let's go this way. So we killed the the big dude of the of the realm, Pendle, Pendulumbrium. But let's kill these Felbors. Let's. It looks like we got some downstairs type of stuff. So I'm pretty excited. Maybe we can find another 
boss or something. Maybe at least complete some of these mini games. There we go, a messenger from hell. We did it. A hellacious messenger has shown up. Come on, Larg. Larg. <laughs> what the hell? I love these demon names, man. They crack me up. Let's go, Larg. I know I need to get my mini games done so I can get my luck bear achievement and I can just start getting some serious shit. I mean, we got that unique drop already, that uh, recipe, which is super dope. Skillful blueprints. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, unidentified fuel. We'll definitely take that. Unidentified ammo. Yep. Apprentice gloves. Yeah. Can't use that. Can't use, okay, can't use that stuff. Well, I'll take it for the crafting parts. I'll take it for the crafting parts. I need that. Got to start building up my network of stuff. Where's that? Okay, okay, we're starting to get mods, which is super nice. Um, 2.5 is 6.5, don't need that. Don't have leg armor, so I definitely need to get that taken care of. Okay. Does that have Word of Fear on it? No, what the hell. Okay. Cool. Oops. Let's go ahead and break these down. Cool. I wish there was an auto sort button. Oh, okay. Expand inventory. Disabled. Nice. That was part of the cash shop from back in the day. You could expand your inventory for a price. What are you doing, Larg? Lars, no! All right. It's been a blast, though, guys. I've been pretty pretty psyched with it. Um, I'm going to do a full little synopsis video to kind of go over once we get a little bit further. But I wanted to get a Let's Play video out there for you guys. Um, kind of, you know, ride along with me. Take the journey. Uh... You know, go through some of the some of the thought processes that I go through, and um, all that fun stuff. So, once we get this finished up, we made it to level five, which is good. I feel like we're gonna have a nice long game ahead of us. Plus, you know what? This is gonna give us a really good. Um, this is gonna give us a really good game to play in addition to Wilson. So, for those of you that haven't seen Wilson stuff. Which I think I just got another unique blueprint. Oh shit! We oh whoa whoa what did we run into here? What is this? Epic imp trooper. Plus a few other a few other guys. Damn, what is this? I mean, he's obviously a big homie, but wow! Damn, look at all this cool stuff. Let's see. We did, guys. We got another unique. Uh, oh, and it's for me, too. Hell yeah! Let's go! Woo! That is nice. That is what I'm talking about. Whoa, what is this thing? A harp pistol? There's all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. Do I have any analyzers? I do. I got one. So, what do I want to do? What do I want to analyze? Um, uh, those are legs for something else. It's unfortunate. Immobilizes enemies? Uh, yeah, but it's a, uh, mm, I don't know, five, five, toxic swarm damage, I mean, here, it doesn't really matter, oops, let's do this blue one, um, super ooh, circumferential blaze pistol, splash damage and all that fun stuff, uh, so we'll throw that over there. And then, we don't have another one, but when I get back to the to camp, we'll take a look at those other ones. 
as well as this. But we need to go to Covent Garden Station. That was really cool. I like that. That was a uh, that was a cool little thing. Um, looks like we got some epic folks that just showed up. Random champions um, that appear to be okay. So let's move that to our stash. It's kind of frustrating that I can't just deposit right into stash number two. Maybe if I click and drag straight over there, I'm like, yeah, I guess that's, come on, come on, Hannibit. Come on, you silly guys. You need to get that figured out. That's, that's annoying. Um, okay, so what else do we have in here? I just need to go buy some analyzers. That's for sure. Uh, nope, give me that back. Thank you. Uh, put that away, put that away. Oh. That over here with the other blueprints and it's not that great but it is what it is uh okay cool is there a vendor in shop oh wonderful um wow i like him he is he's a wonderful person um speak with murmur is murmur upstairs and if he is you son of a bitch how'd you get here <laughs> okay come to brighten my day murmur you are an interesting character so he's so let me get this straight he's like oh man it's so dangerous everywhere but he's teleporting all over the damn place I can see clearly now. <laughs> I volunteered to help the search. Okay, so I guess we're gonna be taking that one on. Um. Oh, here's Brandon Land, man. Finally get to meet this guy. He has nothing for me. Techsmith twenty two. I was a marksman. Okay. Cool. I need a vendor. Richardson. Oh, here we go. Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. Do you have... Wow, you can buy skill points for 50,000. That's interesting. Interesting. It's interesting what they decide to keep and what they decide to pull out. You know what I'm saying? Very interesting. Let's go ahead and buy some analyzers. How much cash we got? We got 7K. I want 21 of those things. Auto dismantler, that's cool. Is it... Like, oh, uh, okay. So it just it saves you time. Some of these things are kind of funny. Like, why not just build, like, some of these things in here? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not just allow us to do some of these things naturally. All right. So those are apprentice lucky gloves, plus 31 luck. Ooh, I'm gonna definitely equip those. More luck, the better, you know what I'm saying? Uh, swarm rifle, crit chance plus one, and shield overload plus 25. I think I'm gonna go with the shield overload. Sorry. Um, what do we got here? Spectral Scourge, Cabal, and Cabalistic Axis. Decrease the power of evocation. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and a bunch of crit. My Lanta, that's a lot of crit. I think I'm gonna equip that. Let's see what we, let's see what. Oh, you can only equip that on that side. Interesting. That takes both. I wanna see how this thing works, so. This obviously I'm not gonna use over the other one, so. Um, <clears throat> laser pistol, so that goes in either slot, so I'll hang on to that. Hang on to that. Don't need this for any reason. Um, okay, cool. So, that one has splash damage, this one has crit against beast, plus 90% damage to necros. I think I'm gonna get rid of this, doesn't really make sense for me to hang on to it. Uh, ooh, I have a nano shard now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. guess what that means, guys. That means we can craft a unique. That means we can craft a unique. 
But I think, here's what I'm going to do, though. I think I'm going to wait. I want to wait because what it's going to do is nano shards, obviously, are sort of rare. So I'm going to wait until um, I'm at a certain level, like maybe like a level 10 or something, and then I'll craft those uniques. That way we can jump on in. Nanoforge and Augmentrex 3000 are competing largely, helping. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You can use Nanoforge, job use reinforce items. Okay. Equipping a mod tonight with a sock will boost the ability. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. Hey, thanks, TechSmith. I decrypted Fox's data. He just. Ooh, he discovered a system to detect hell rifts. Very nice. Thank you, Fox, the Fox Detector. <clears throat> what a fascinating human being. Um, okay. So I think this is going to uh, unlock Hell Rifts for us, which is really cool. So um, Hell Rifts open up and you can jump in. You actually go into Hell and you kill the, essentially like the head demon, the demon lord that's there. And they have a chance to give you some really good gear. Comet Gardens are in low supplies. Everyone from Hellborn wants to relocate here. Okay. Man, they're giving me a lot of quests here. Okay. Thanks, Murmur. I was forging the lower Kingway sewers for blind eyes. Okay, I had to leave the blind eyes behind. I need the blind eyes. Okay, Ranger, I get it. You need the blind eyes. We're in. My unit and I were working to clear the Covent Garden train depot and a hell ripped up to where it doesn't. Whoa. Alright, guys. Oh, and a wanted poster. Good thing they blocked out my password that I don't know. Bag of bones. Uh, he's in the train depot. Return ear. Return an ear. Well, the damn thing doesn't have an ear. All right. Blade house demons, dude. So we got a ton of quests here, guys. Um, let's let's get let's get working. So here's a. Oh my gosh, we have so many. All right. So Fox's sacrifice. Travel there. Okay, we need to go back to... What? Oh, we gotta kill Fat Bully. Okay. Um, Holborn. Holborn. Covent Train Depot. Uh, Lower Kingway. Covent. Covent. Lower Kingway. So I think what we'll do is let's go ahead and we'll hop into uh, Holborn. Well, let's... Okay, let's, let's, let's get... Let's get Tottenham Road out of the way. So let's go and let's kill Fat Bully if, wait, I mean, we already did. Okay, don't know what I just did, but I got a plus 100 standing. All right, so let's go kill Fat Bully so that we can be done with him. And then we can move on. Uh, oh, that's cool. Things are still stuck around here. Looky there. Come on, Log. Come on, buddy. Oh, let's allocate some new skill points. Having discovered the true secret of the elements, the summoner empowers elementals to do even more damage. That's cool. Can I have both? Oh, yeah. Whoa, hey, wow, that was quick. How are we doing? So my swarm rifle is pretty much doing next to no damage so i think i'm going to switch back over to my other uh setup and uh once we kill druids the flesh golem and uh we'll move on from this from this thing i can see a swarm rifle being super powerful if it's a legendary or maybe unique um it has some other effects to it but in this case no I do want to use this laser pistol though. That's supposed to like jack people up. Um, yes, yes. Sure, sure, yes. Okay, so we need to kill Fat Bully still. Um, let's head this way. Oh, there he is. I see his ass. I got him. I got him tethered. I got him tethered. Wow, that went by quick. All right. Well, there it is. So let's head back to Holborn. Let's talk to little Joey and tell him his nightmares are over and move on plus 100 standing I wonder where am I at okay cool so I need god there's so many 
so many. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a long a long game, guys, and I am so stoked, so stoked. Hell yeah! All right, what did we get from that? Oh man, we got Wart's peg leg upgraded. So good. Um. Is this a daily? I think it is. I think it's a daily. I mean, you can sit there and just farm that, but that's not very fun. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off for now. And let's go to Covent Garden Train Depot. Uh, let's teleport to the other thing real quick. Nano Forge. Let's see what this thing's all about. Okay. Where's my... There it is. Where's my terminal travel? All right, so we got Bloomsbury up there. A Covent Garden Market. Yeah. Well, let's see. What is this? Covent Garden Market. I wonder if this is in any way attached to Covent Garden Station. These spine skeletons are no joke, though, man. Whoa. Man, we're getting a bunch of unique drops, guys. Like, blueprints, that is. That makes two. Yep. And this focus pistol isn't too great. It's heart pistol. So, get rid of that. Uh, it creates a sniper rifle, so that'd be pretty cool for the old engineers. Okay. Investigate the anomaly. Well, let's investigate it. Power pack, power pack, okay. Analyzer, which these seem to be dropping like crazy now, so that's cool. Let's go and clear these guys out a little bit. Lark has one health. Lark, you're my hero, man. You're just, I mean, like, just champ. Oh, he died. I hope he, <laughs> I hope he got to hear that before he, uh, before he left us. Return back to the hellscape. So yeah, FYI, I don't know if I mean I don't know if I've just outright said it, but when you kill enough creatures and make enough of a, I'll say a disturbance, um, that's when the like champions show up, right? Or not the champions, but the the what they call um, hell operation or something like that. Basically, the blue names, the blue names will show up, the rares, and you can kill them, but. Basically, it's an easy way for you to kind of time it and figure it out, right? Of, okay, so I've killed enough things, or I know if I kill these things, I can force it to spawn, that type of stuff. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a... something to shoot for per zone. Now, I don't know the actual number. I think it probably varies, but... More bastards. I feel like, yep, yep. I feel like this one I was just about to say, I feel like it's going to be a Ravager. Yeah, it sure as shit is. Oh, my Lanta. That was bad, man. We were in the tunnel of doom right there for a second. But Rutgore, Rutgore is whooping his ass. Rutgore, go, baby, go. Okay, so I think the unique blueprints are way, like, higher. I got so excited there was a legendary drop it looks like cryptex thing sacred fragment steady battery like there's just uh, there's so much stuff um okay well it's kind of a bummer you know and i wonder maybe will it get different upper levels i really hope it's not this way all the time that would be super unfortunate 
All right, another treasure passageway. Good times. Let's go ahead and restock on all the cash that we spent. some more. I think that's it. All right. What do we end up with? Okay, so, dang, it sucks I can't use these, but I guess I'll give them to something else. An eruptor. What the hell is that? Get off me. Get off me. An eruptor. Summon Witch Doctor 1. What is that? Summon Witch Doctor 1. Well, let's give this thing a shot. You know, I'm, I'm down to try anything. that down we got get a spider shot got a few other things cryptex quest item very nice oh it's just a flamethrower that's cool investigate the anomaly investigate the anomaly well how are we looking I need to go this way I guess Oh, hell yeah. Burn, baby, burn. We've breached. So this is what I was talking about, guys. We have gone, we are into hell right now. And I'm a moron because I don't have any of my creatures up and running. And Shugoth has his, has my number, so. Come on, summon that. Get him summoned. There we go. Sholgoth. My bad. Mistakes were made. There we go. Back to my tried and true methodology here, guys. I'll take care of these snipers. There we go. Get Shulgoth pulled over here. Shit's going south for us pretty quick. Trogor is not doing too hot. We got the resummon his ass pretty soon. Forty-four percent. Forty-four percent. Take out these snipers. Get another beast up. There we go. Jug. Jug is up and in, in the action. In the. In the. In the game. Shulgoth's getting that highlight. Here we go. We did it, guys. We did it. Wow, dude. God, there's so much stuff. Here, damn it. Break that down. That menu, I love it, but sometimes it's just like, come on, man. That break that down. Okay.
Don't really care about any of this other stuff. I'm gonna take this so I can break it down though. Blue. Uh, Able Eruptor. I was super disappointed with my Eruptor, so I'm actually gonna get rid of it. Tempest Rifle though. Shulgoth's Infernal Storm, heavy rifle. That's dope. Let's equip it. It's like a rocket launcher. Um, get rid of this thing. Uh, identified Beetlebore Swarm Pistol. That's cool. So that'll probably be a good combo with my my other pistol. Um, I'll put that with my Blade Master. Uh, hell yeah, I'm gonna equip those. Immunizing cuffs. That's good. I do appreciate all the different stuff they have. It's so good. Oh, cool. That's cool. I got like the, yeah. The shit that kept messing me up. <laughs> Whoa, what is up? Dude, get deleted, bro. How cool is that? Wow. So Fox is done. Taken by the Hell Rift. E eliminated. It's funny, it's kinda like a shotgun in a way. Ooh, see this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. So maybe the blueprints are easier to drop? I don't know. I'm so so confused. Like I feel like at a, at a level Six, I shouldn't have so many, you know, unique blueprints, but, um, okay. And I'm gonna teleport out. Let's go turn this back into Mr. Lan. We've lost a great man, pour one out. Pour one out for the homies. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's equip some achievement things that I have. If I have any, I don't. It's um, so unfortunate. Oh yeah, I got some. Uh, increase all attributes by one. Oh, I only got one slot right now. Well, that's not that's 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 not good. But let's throw some extra stuff in here. Um, okay. Do we have more damage? That's fair. I could definitely. Saddle up with that. Mm, meat shield. Okay. Summoning circle. Hmm. Increase minion fortitude. Necromancy. Word of fear. Uttering this command causes demons surrounding to flee in terror. Venomous spirit. Unleashes a terrifying apparition created. An extra. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do the old apparition, man. I think that'll be really good for us. <sighs> well, all right, guys. This wraps up the first Let's Play of Hellgate London. Let's go take a look at our Spoils of War. So let's run down here and let's look at our little stash action. And honestly, like I was saying, for it being... For us being level six, I feel like we have a great little stock of, I'll say just stuff building up here. So we got Shulgoth's Sword of Nightmares, which, I mean, fantastic. Uh, looks cool and everything else like that. Um, here's an actual look at it. Um, so pretty dope, I really like that. Plus it's 25 DPS. 
um, which is fantastic. We got this legendary hand grappler, and then we flip over the stash, guys. I mean, we got Mind Blender Lens Blueprint, right? Which, whoops. Which, uh, I mean, we got four unique blueprints. Four. That's insane to me. We got Arashi Spider Shot, which is a sniper rifle. We got Full Source Friend, which I don't know what that is. We haven't looked at it. Final Word Blueprints and Mindbender Lens. So we got quite a few things, guys, that um, I think are really going to help us out. Now, like I said, I'm not going to actually make any of these things yet just because it doesn't really make sense to. Um, if you think about it, I mean, we're still trying to get a few things sorted out. Um, yeah, that's a quest item we're trying to get a few things sorted out we're trying to get some levels under us so i think you know down the road we'll probably get these things crafted so keep a lookout for that but in the meantime we'll uh we'll see what uh see what else comes our way and hopefully keep building this stockpile guys so let's chat about what we think so far um i'm really having a good time guys i really am i'm having a great time with this game so far it's I feel like I'm right back where I used to be um, holy shit I have 26 attribute points that I haven't even put in there yet oh wow um, okay so what do we need to use this I don't know 12 man totally just rookie move uh, so anyway I'll go through and I'll throw these things in there but what I'm really enjoying is just I feel like it's just your typical kind of old-school um, you know RPG, really, especially now it's single player, that's just all about the loot, you know, somebody made it mention earlier, you know, it's just Borderlands before Borderlands, and it's absolutely true, there's so much, so much loot, so many different weapons, there's augments, there's just a great, great just foundation here to really play some high level content, work through the game, have a good time, and as you can see, they have so many things that are still from the multiplayer version of the game that I can definitely see them switching it back on, gauging how the uh, reaction is. So, and I think that's what they're doing, is they release this on Steam. By the way, it's $9, it's 22% off right now. And judging how many people buy it, they'll basically dictate, do we want to invest in a server for this or not? Um, so I could definitely see early 2019 getting news around um, a Hellgate server as long as, you know, we're still around, we're still playing, the population, the demand is there, which I think it will be. So, but yeah, the gameplay is good. As I said, the graphics don't make the game, so don't look at it and kind of go cringe and move on because it really is such a fun game. Uh, just between the skill trees, the different skills, the different classes, it's very unique. Um, plus, I really like the zone aspect where you jump into zones and you wipe things out. Champions show up. We had that epic, um, the epic champions show up. Um, we had some elites show up, obviously, but just it, you get so pumped too when you get those drops you're like yes you know you see that like little kind of golden like pulse coming up out of the ground and you're so excited so i've been really amped up so far i think it's been super fun i cannot wait to sink more time into this game um but hey you know what let's chat in the comment section below let's talk about what really jumped off the page to you guys what's really interesting to you guys um have you guys started playing it or were you waiting for this video to come out? I'm really curious. And also, you know, when online comes out, let's let's gather up. Let's play together. But let's get the conversation rolling downstairs, guys. All right. This has been Vulcan and I am out of here.